welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to use layers on the Remarkable 2. I haven't really been able to find very many videos that have shown this in depth, but it's been a highly requested video, so let me know in the comments what other questions you have and I'll try to make videos on them. If you haven't already, subscribe to see new content. Also, to address the dramatic hair length change, I donated 13 inches to children with hair loss, so if you're looking for ways to give back, consider donating. All right, we have some good morning sunshine coming in and let's get started. Blocked all this off so you can't see. And I'm going to make this easy. So marker, pick gray, and I'm going to write it out so you can read what each layer is. Layer one. So it's just the regular layer one. So I'm gonna rename it gray. So let's add another layer. Layer two, I would like this to be black. Let's now rename to Okay, so you can see that the gray is lower, black is higher. Now let's do layer three. I'm gonna just rename this right now. Okay, so you can see the white is a little bit difficult to see. Let's go ahead and make layer four. And for layer four, I'm going to do a line. Okay, so there's the line. There are a total of five layers that you can use and it will show you the limit once you hit it. So you don't have to remember that. And I don't know why you need more, but here, this is what you have. Layer five, I would like to do highlight. Okay, so we're on layer five. Select a highlighter. Okay, so the template cannot be used differently per layer. The template is just your base. Think of it as your base, it stays that way. You can, however, switch between templates if you're trying to use it as a guide per different layer, but it will be the same for each layer. To remember where layers are, the top ones are the closest to you. The lower you put it, the more buried it is. Recently, Remarkable updated the software to allow you to merge layers. So I'm going to merge the line with the black. So in order to do that, I'm going to add this up so you can see it actually popped up above the white. You can see the white is pretty buried, but I'm going to merge the line and the black together. So now you can see there are only four layers. Once you merge, you can't undo it later. So if you need to undo what you just did, you can push the back button right here. Look and see what happens when I remove the view for the black layer. You're left with the other three. So you can see it's gray, you can still see the highlight, and you can see the white, but it's covered by the highlighter. So if I move this, bury this a little bit further down, now you can see the white layer. You see the white is above the highlighter, so it's very easily visible. Let's say I wanna see the gray as well, so now I can see the gray behind it. mess around with it and just see what you like best. There are so many things that you can do with layers, so let me give you one example. Notice that the layers are now gone now that you have a new page. For example, let's say you want to teach your kiddos how to do their ABCs. The base template I have here is grid large.
For layer one, I want to do thick gray letters for ABCs. I highlighted the back to make sure you could see that they stood out. I'm renaming this layer ABC. Layer two, I want this to be the practice sheet. So I would let my kid probably use marker, medium, black, so I can see. No, they would practice above this. Once your kid practice with it, you can remove your view to see exactly what they are doing. Not only that, you could say practice one, practice two, So we removed the view of practice. We would like to do writing on practice too. So the more times they try, you can see their progress. There's their practice two. You can see it overlaid with their practice one. It could be whatever you want. That's all I have on layers, so let me know in the comments how you're using them. I love to see tips and tricks, and I always learn so much from all of you. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. I'll be adding more content soon. Thanks, and see you next time.